The principle, principle one of perceivability, may be a core foundation in ensuring accessible content. And some of the easiest strategies can be utilized to ensure that your content is accessible. For the purposes of the demonstration of finding things that you can do right now to make sure that your content is more accessible, we're gonna focus on standard four of principle one. So this is the Web Content Accessibility Guideline 1.4, make text easier to read. And essentially the idea behind this standard is to ensure that there's always more than one way to perceive data. There are five guidelines within the, the standard that are applicable to version two, level A of the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. We are going to focus on 1.4.1, use of color, and 1.4.3, contrast minimum. Use of color is related to principle one, standard four, and is guideline one. So this is web content accessibility guideline 1.4.1. Essentially, color should not be the only means of conveying information, and you'll want to avoid assigning meaning to color. For more information, you can visit the text of the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. An example of where we often utilize color to convey meaning is in the financial world, where red equals a negative balance or a withdrawal. I have two tables here. The one on the left shows a typical um, household or small business account balance with deposits and withdrawals. The deposits are in black, the withdrawals are in red. The table on the right enhances that even further by including a plus in front of the numbers that are in black and represent deposits and a minus sign in front of the text that is red representing withdrawals. Continuing the example, here we have a grayscale example of the same data. Again, the table on the left previously had the deposits in black and the withdrawals in red. And this is how an individual who's unable to perceive the color red may still access and see the content. The withdrawals are no longer as evident as they were previously. The table on the right, still in grayscale, and demonstrates how adding the plus and minus symbols to the associated data helps drive home and draw attention to the need for um, the draw attention to the data through the use of the text symbols. This also assists individuals utilizing screen reading technology as they are likely to hear the announcement of the plus or the minus to help them understand whether data is being added or so. Understanding the contrast minimum requirement, principle one, standard four, guideline three, WCAG 1.4.3. This essentially ensures that the contrast between the foreground and the background make the focus of the content easier to see. On a technical level, you want text to have a rate minimum ratio of 4.5 to 1, except when tech, large text or images of large text, in which case the ratio can be 3 to 1. If the image or text is a part of an inactive interface component, that are pure decoration or that are not visible to anyone, um, there is no ratio requirement. There is no contrast requirement for text that is part of a logo unless you are wor working to conform to the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines version 2.1. 
And it is important to understand that large text can refer to either 18 point with no um, additional attributes such as bold applied or 14 point font that is bold. For more information, please visit the text of the web content accessibility guidelines at w3c.org. Here's an example of our contrast minimum. Um, if you're using Office 365 or later in Microsoft Word, the accessibility checker will notify you if something, um, you know, if text does not quite meet contrast minimums. You can check accessibility by um, clicking accessibility on the review tab. The hotkey is Alt R. A1. In this Microsoft Word document, I have opened up the navigation pane on the right to show you that this document does have headings. If we scroll, some of the content may not be very easy to see. because of the contrast difference between the foreground and the background. Again, you can check accessibility and get an idea of whether or not a document has met contrast minimums by clicking review and then accessibility. The panel will appear on the right hand side And underneath warnings, we have hard to read contrast, the text user experiences, and the text Alex are both difficult to read. I can quickly change this font. To make that text easier to read. If I go back to my accessibility checker, I only I have one remaining issue, the text Alex.